David Morrell versus Alantez Fox. To those who didn't know, this fight took place over in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Fight was actually shown live on Fox, PBC on Fox. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I I completely forgot about this fight. I was uh, more focused on the fights on the zone and obviously the Jake Paul fight. And uh, yeah, this fight, this event completely got overshadowed, at least from my point of view. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people did not know that this fight happened on Fox. But yeah, the fight lasted four rounds. And David Morel won the fight by TKO in round number four. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, the fight lasted four rounds and I honestly did not see the full fight. I just saw the highlights of it. It's available here on YouTube. You can check it out in, uh, I think, PBC's official YouTube channel. And uh, based on that, it, it was all Morel. Morel was landing the cleaner punches. He was breaking him. He, 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 he was hitting Fox with clean shot after clean shot. And uh, yeah, the corner of uh, Fox stepped in and stopped the fight. Fox went down as well in the fourth round. He was just getting hit way, way too many times. So I can't blame the corner of Fox for stopping the fight to save Fox from further punishment because it, it was very clear that he was no way on the same level as David Morrell. David Morrell successfully defends his WBA regular title and he improves to uh, 6-0, and no, 5 wins coming by way of knockout TKO at the age of 23 years old. He's from Cuba, to those who don't know. And uh, and yeah, he's very, very underrated. A lot of people don't know who he is. A lot of people are you know, yet to find out who he is. But he definitely has what it takes to be Cuba's next superstar. He's only 23 years old. So he's going to be around for a very, very long time. And he's right there next in line to pretty much fight Canelo. If you guys don't know, he holds the WBA regular belt. He's And the WBA has a mission of trying to get rid of those belts. So he might end up fighting Canelo one day. But that's a big might. I mean, I think... David Morrell has to put his name out there first. Um, but he's definitely the future of the 168-pound weight division. And him versus David Benavidez would be a huge fight one day. Huge, huge fight. Um, we all know Canelo is the main man at 168. He holds all the belts. This ranking needs to be updated. Caleb Plant's no longer the champion. We all know Canelo be beat him. And um, But yeah, Morrell definitely has what it takes to become Cuba's next superstar. Alantez Fox... Sucks that he lost from Maryland. I live in Maryland. I was rooting for him. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I thought, you know, it would be nice to have a regular champion from Maryland. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he totally got outclassed here. At least based on the highlights. He he was, yeah, he 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 was taking a lot of punishment. So, anyway, I, like I said earlier, I, I completely forgot about this fight. I mean, I knew about it. I've made videos about it, but... Man, there was just so much boxing going on. Plus, I was at work. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.